Good morning. I'm just sitting down to eat some breakfast and I would say these are blueberry bagels are like one of my weaknesses. <laughs> Cinnamon raisin bagels or other bagels, I don't usually eat them, but we bought, I was at Costco on the weekend and I got the big box. I think it's like, Elijah, what did it end up being? 13 dozen bagels. I think it's 13 and a half. It's a funny number. Like, Oh, no, it's 12 and a half. 12 and a half dozen. Because it's 13 bags. 13 bags. So, as you know, I don't know. Okay, so if it's 13, so it's I think 13, you're right. It's 13 six bags. And a half dozen. So it's six and a half dozen. Yeah, that sorry, makes more I'm sense. Confused. I was going to say, it's something like 78 yeah, bagels. I'm confused myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I was, I was confused too. Um, so, I bought that big bag of blueberry bagels, big box. And so, we're all having blueberry bagels for breakfast, and they're just one of my faves. Cream cheese, two boiled eggs, and then some strawberries, which I should have pulled out of the fridge earlier because I don't love strawberries straight out of the fridge. I should have like left them on the counter overnight, and then, I don't know, it's not my favorite to eat them so cold. But that's how I'm starting today, if I never bought them. Yeah. Elijah's saying he'd be fine if I never ever bought the cinnamon raisin bagels again. Lots. I, I agree that blueberry is better. Uh, would you just I, close I like that? I like cheese bagel better. I like everything better. Yeah? Yeah. Um, actually, it's the bathroom door that's open. I can just hear laundry going. Who started laundry this morning? I don't, I don't know. know. I hear laundry going. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't... This... It, it, it's actually the shower. Oh, it's the shower I hear. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I hear water just going. <laughs> Yeah. No one's starting laundry. That's right. I did send Wesley to go have a bath. I was just going to say, this isn't really how I'm starting my morning. I've been up for a while. I worked out this morning and then I showered and I really want, really want to get, take care of my plugged ear. I know I've talked about this in a couple of videos already, but I still have a plugged ear. It's been plugged for a while now and like it will unplug for like part of a day and then it'll plug up again. I don't know. It's been... It's been like a week and a half, I think. And so, Elijah reminded me that when he had a plugged ear, we put some olive oil in his ear and that like cleared up the wax. I was a little bit skeptical just because I had this big cold and that's where the plugged ear came from. So I don't know if it's wax buildup. Anyway, I tried it. Elijah helped me. I laid down and he put used a syringe to get some olive oil in my ear. So I laid there for a while and let it just sit, drained it and nothing changed. <laughs> nothing changed. So I need to go on my phone today and look for some more home rem home remedies to hopefully clear that up. Back to the drawing board, <laughs> trying everything before going to the doctor, because I don't want to go to the doctor. No. <laughs> All right, what are you up to right now? Piano. Yeah, he's practicing the piano. I told I'm him technically to I'm practicing the piano right now, but Yes. You're taking the video, so. I know. <laughs> I often, as I pull out the camera, I'm like, okay, everybody quiet. And Elijah's in the middle of practicing the piano, so he paused and came over here. Anyway, I'm going to eat my breakfast and turn off the camera. You can practice the piano. Yep. Right, when it's in this word, it just makes the softer sound. Thick. Thick. That's right. And then. And again, it's going to say. Then. Thin. Thin. That's right. All right, are we working on uh, language well, arts or playing with a slinky? <laughs> I don't see them both happening at the same time. Elijah, are you laughing at Simeon or are you doing language arts? Both. Both. Hmm. Okay, let's focus on one. Can I help you? You need help? Okay, yeah, hold on. Yeah. yeah, bring it over here. Zara is working on her handwriting today. We are nearing the end of all of our books, so we still have a few pages left, but not too much. So a dependent clause. Did you look here? I did. Okay, yes. it's been a little while since we learned about this, but dependent clauses have a subject and a verb. Okay, so this is. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, this is not a verb. Right. Because just says after the right. song. Right. Dependent clauses will. The prepositional phrase is just like this. After the song, there's no verb included. Math. Bath. Math. Good. With. Good job. Cause. Don't forget about the L. Cl Class. Good. Six. 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 Yes, like you finished the race in sixth place. 
This lunch is so much fun. Seth. 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 That's a name. Yeah. Seth. Seth. And Beth sat sit with me. This is always how we do morning dishes. They get washed at breakfast and then they sit here until they're dry and we put them away when they're dry because that's just so much easier. I'd love to hear how many of you guys in the comments don't have a dishwasher. We haven't had a dishwasher in this house the whole time we've lived here, which has been what? Four, Coming on five, five years. years. Yeah. In August, we will have nine. been in this house for five years. Yeah. No dishwasher, and honestly, I forget what it's even like to have a dishwasher. People that come over and are like, oh, you guys don't have a dishwasher. That's, you know, that's not fun or whatever. We haven't had a dishwasher <laughs> in forever, so I don't even know what I would do if we did have a dishwasher. That would be a lot to get used to. I have, you know, five five kids you that are my dishwashers. dishwashers. I know, and they are great dishwashers. I mean, that might be a stretch. They're not always great dishwashers. I'm a good dishwasher. I'm just slow. Yeah. yeah. All the kids have different strengths. It's really funny to see. My but is some of the <laughs> Okay. Elijah is a super fast dishwasher. So fast. The the thoroughness is sometimes lacking. I'm, I'm horrible at charity. Dry, so I'm slow at drying. So it's charity. I, yeah. I like dry, I like drying better than washing. We're both charity slow. is when we're together. very I was gonna say efficient, but I guess that's not the right word because she's very, I'm very slow. Dry, but slow. but very the dishes come out clean. Me too. So it's like polar opposites between Me these too. two. Me too. Sam, you're saying that you're perfect, you're fast and no, you're thorough? I'm not fast, I'm slow. You're a little bit slow too. Zara actually is really fast and she's She's pretty thorough. She might be the best Trying dishwasher of all. I think she's she's kind of more like me. She I, should do that. Oh, I, no, I only I don't let her wash dinner dishes yet, yeah. so we haven't tested out the like really Except dirty dishes. Yeah. But yeah, well, I have all these workers. Why would I, I need a dishwasher? At our old house, <coughs> I I had to unload the dishwasher in the morning and put it and put the dishes away, and Zara had to do the utensils. Mm-hmm. You had different jobs back when we had a dishwasher. Are you done language arts? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. where's your book for me to check? On the table. Okay, I'm gonna check it right now. If I don't, if I'm not on top of it, all my books stack, yeah, stack up, and then midday I have like <laughs> a whole bunch of work to check. So yeah. I'm just gonna check this right now. Cherry, why don't you bring me the laptop? You're ready to get started on math? Yeah. All right. Just heading out the door on a quick errand, wearing these slides. I bought these slides last year at Old Navy, but we are heading out real quick because we are picking up our second batch of chicks today. Our first batch of chicks is, um, I wanna say they're about four weeks away from their final day. And so just like last year, we're doing two batches of chickens. I was saying to Andrew the other day, we should go away, him and I, just for like a night, one or two nights, it'd be so nice to go away. And then I was like, oh, that's right, chickens. I feel like we're very stranded. We can't go anywhere until the chicks are done. So next year, I need to remember to plan a little, a tiny little getaway, a night or two away with Andrew in like April. Because once we get chickens, April to September, we're, we're stuck at home, we can't take a night away because we have these little farm animals. That's what it feels like, like, oh, this farm life, that's right. You're a little bit more, more stranded at home. Three. There's 33 this time? Yeah. What? What are these chickens called again, Elijah? Red, Red Rangers. Rangers. Red Rangers. So we got a different kind of chicken this time than we got last time. And I didn't think we'd be able to tell, but they're definitely redder. 
they and have a browner. little red tint. They're browner, you think? Yeah? Uh -huh. Good job, you guys. It is crazy seeing how quickly they grow from being this tiny to how big our older chicks are now. Yes, Simeon, I'll ask you in a second. Simeon was saying something to me on the drive back about these chickens versus the other chickens we have outside. And um, he was he was comparing the two. So these ones are, they grow slower. They don't grow as fast, but they're a much nicer looking chicken. If you want to get ones just for meat, then you should get the white ones. But if you want to get ones that are for meat and for fun to like play with, then you won't get the red ones. Right, so the ones we have back there are the white ones, right? They they're they're good for meat. You don't think they look as nice. What do you like better about the red ones? Why are they more they fun? They taste yummier. They taste yummier? And here. also <laughs> like perching on those things in the back, and I kind of like watching them. They're kind of more fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? And yeah. they look they look much more pretty. Yeah. Cool. Okay, why don't you show us the chickens that are back there? Okay. Show us the ones that are... You want to you wanna film it? Yeah. Those are the ones. They don't really look that nice to me. They kind of um, look ugly. What is, what is that sound I don't know what that sound was. It's not a firework. It wasn't a firework. I had it only in the night. Yeah. Our hostas are coming up so, so nicely. It was only a couple weeks ago that I was like, I feel like our hostas are growing really slowly. And then boom, just wait a couple weeks and they are huge. The park we are learning about today, Banff National Park, we've been there before. Yep. We're also yep. snacking on strawberries as we work. Oh. It's the after lunch cleanup time. A little plate of veggies left over that we can snack on this afternoon. And I am just about to pour myself, no I didn't, okay. I couldn't remember if I had actually put my tea bag in yet or not. I'm gonna have one of these. And then we're just gonna finish up a couple of last subjects. I need to do Wesley's reading lesson. Sometimes I want to apologize for just following the back <laughs> when I pull out the camera and film, often I, I just want to show you what life is really like. And so I'm filming here and there, but then I feel like I have to raise my voice for you to actually hear me. Anyway, lots of noise in the background. What is that? What am I looking at? The way that the water goes down the drain? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to sit and read aloud to the kids. I think that's what I was going to say. And so I am just waiting for my water to boil, pour myself a tea. What do we have left to do today, Elijah? Elijah has a bit left. He's been helping with the chickens I today. Have so he has math still, science, spelling. That's probably about it. Okay, we're getting close to the end. The book I am reading, I think, who has, who has already read this book? Me. Charity, is that it? Okay, I had this on the shelf this year for a book for the kids to read on their own. And then Simeon pulled it down this morning and was asking if this could be our next read aloud because I hadn't planned our next read aloud. So this is it. I'm gonna read this one. Uh, Charity says that it was good. So we'll try it out. What were you gonna say, but what? Oh, it takes God's name in vain one time. Okay, yes, Charity's always, always keeping me <laughs> alerted to what might not be so good in the books before I tell you guys this is a good book. Okay, so there's that. I can easily skip over stuff like that as I'm reading aloud. I also this week actually, I got one of you commented on, my, on one of my videos and said, would you do a like overview of all the books we've read aloud? this school year, maybe do a little book review. That was so bright. Charity's taking pictures over there. I saw like everything flash in my viewfinder. Anyway, so this week I sat down with the kids and compiled the list of what we have read aloud this school year. I don't know when I will film this video, but I do plan on sharing just a little uh, review. I just finished filming a video. All the kids went, uh, Elijah, can't see him, but he's over there. He's doing science right now. 
hello and all of the other kids are doing reading some of them are up in their room some of them are outside and I just finished filming a video so I wanted to film a video because I know that as we come up to the end of the school year there are many many families who are planning to homeschool this fall and so for, for all of the, the new homeschoolers, I wanted to make a video with just advice for the new homeschooler. So that won't come out for a couple more weeks, but I did get that filmed. I've got my tripod all set up there. Video is done. And now I'm about to join a call. I'm a little bit late on it, so I just wanted to find my link here. But um, it's just a team meeting for Made to Homeschool. And I wanted to remind you that until the end of May, we still have a few days left of May. It is Made to Homeschool's first anniversary. It's been a full year, I can't believe that. And so the memberships are discounted. I will leave the link there down below if you want to join us over there. But every month, sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm multitasking, it's probably not the best, but I'm trying to find the link for this call I need to join. Um, Every month we have like a contributor meeting. And so we're just gonna get on there and chat about some exciting things coming up with M2H. But I'll link all that info I need, or you need, you need if you wanna join down below. It has gotten so dark in here. I don't know if it's about to rain or what, but it's so dark out there. So I've got all the lights on. And I'm just getting started, so I'm making like a rice, I want to call it a rice casserole for dinner tonight. So like rice and chicken and peas and sour cream and cheese and all that good stuff. But I have started to get ready for dinner a little bit earlier in the day lately. So instead of like the dinner rush, well, it's because we are... We're into our summer mode. Um, we're out of the house almost every evening. And so sometimes that dinner rush is just a little bit crazy, a little bit crazy. And so I've been starting to just like, I have chicken in the fridge from last night and I thought, you know what? This lighting is not doing me any favors. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I should turn on this other light. Um, but I thought instead of cooking my rice here at like four o'clock, why not cook rice at 2.30? And then it's ready and I can just throw everything together and it's less work at right at dinner time. It makes the crazy dinner time rush not quite as crazy. So I have rice going in the instant pot and then really I think I'll just have to throw all of my ingredients together, stick it into the oven to bake. I'm glad I started that when I did because somehow I had it set to low pressure instead of high pressure. Didn't even realize that was a thing, but it took like twice as long to cook as usual. For spices, I'm just adding salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder. I did look online to try to pull up a recipe to give me some inspiration for what I'm making tonight. And every single recipe I find says to use either cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken soup. And so I'm putting sour cream in instead. I never buy those, those cream soups. Um, but I don't want my rice to dry out. I also need the peas, the frozen peas to cook while they're in there. So I'm thinking a little bit of extra liquid would be nice. So I'm just gonna pour a bunch of milk in. So I'm just going to get it all mixed together and then I'll sprinkle cheese on top. Okay, this just came out of the oven, hoping, okay, close enough. I was gonna say I'm hoping that the cheese is melted because I had it in the oven for a while but it seemed to take a while for all the cheese to melt. So I'm just also making a, another loaf of bread. That'll be for tomorrow. I make a loaf of bread just about every day. Time to serve this up. I love these nice one dish meals. I'm gonna end today's video here. Also, I am filming a week of dinners this week. So this dinner that I made tonight, you'll see that in a week of dinners that should go up next week, I believe. I do a lot of filming ahead, so sometimes I think ahead, like when will that come out? I think it's next week. 
Uh, but thank you for coming along and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. I have a couple of kids that were hoping to say bye. 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 <laughs>